Welcome to Sonata Secrets and this series about Frasa Flowers by Wilhelm Pedersen Berger, a collection of 21 short and sweet piano pieces that have become a symbol for Swedish summer. Number five in the first book of Frasa Flowers is Congratulations or Gratulation, and it consists of very short, clear phrases with an upward arpeggio in this gallop rhythm. Tanta gratta, tanta gratta, tam. And after the first four phrases, the left hand gets a bit more involved with some counterpart. And then there's a middle section where we have a sustained open fifth in the bass. It's a typical feature from the folk music roots, having a drone fifth like this. And the middle section culminates in some nice sequence of mediants and uh, expanded arpeggios upward in the high register. And then the form is da capo ABA form, so the first section is repeated completely. So I give you congratulations. Now at the heart of the set, as number six, we get this still and serene chorale at Frösa Church, or Vid Frösa Kyrka. Now Frösa is the island where Wilhelm Pelsenberger built his house, so this is inspired by the actual church on that island. And Wilhelm himself lies buried in the cemetery right next to the church. And as is so common in these pieces, we have a sustained open fifth in the bass in this one as well. It's in D flat major. And we have this nice still choral chords so calming this piece so it starts off like a proper church hymn but the longer it goes the more we get of these romantic and longing and yearning chords for example 11th chords and plus five chords Then there's a middle section that kicks off with a move to the median F major and it's, it's an outburst with an arpeggio like this. And this gets developed a little bit with some more medians and choral chords echoing in the background. But then the first uh, theme returns in the high register and it's very calm again. This is a pretty recognizable piece in Sweden. And for example, we have a king in Sweden. It's only in constitution, he doesn't have any political power. But when Corona hit in March, he gave a public address, kind of uh, speaking to the nation and the people from his castle where he was socially isolating. And uh, they framed this address with some nice pictures of the castle and a snippet of music. And this was the piece they chose for that music. So the point is that this music is still very much alive in Sweden today.
So here comes at Frosted Church. Thanks for watching Sonata Secrets. For the full series on Frosa Flowers, check out the playlist on the right and consider subscribing for more analysis videos like this unlocking the world of classical music.